We're back on MR2 today because the last video with Infinity, you guys didn't like it. I can tell. Nobody watched it. So I can tell that my audience, you guys are into MR2s and I get it. So we're jumping right back on the MR2s. Today, I have the 93 MR2 and we're doing some work. We're using the 93 MR2 to do some work for the 91. I have the 91 outside, but I can't be bothered to bring it in and out. So since both cars are the same, we're going to use the 93 to build something like this, which is the sunroof um, shield for the 91 because when I got that car I never got a shield and these are very hard to find and if you do find them they're crazy expensive so I'm gonna try to make something that will work uh, if you guys were watching the previous videos you would have seen that I did a makeshift um, shield or the cardboard and honestly it fits pretty good it just looks terrible so today we're gonna try to do something much better so let's jump in and I show you what I have up my sleeve the beauty of having two MR2s, that's the same exact thing, is you can work on one and essentially you're doing the job for both. So this is what I had in the 91, and as you can see, it's an old piece of cardboard. It actually fits pretty good. So this thing does not move when you drive, but I got to look at an AC unit as somebody is selling and a guy lying on the bed and joined the AC. So I don't want to see this um, artwork, if you want to call it, at least not this one in MR2. So we're going to try something different. But I'm not even gonna throw this away because honestly, if what I try doesn't work, I'm probably gonna do something with this because it's cut perfectly to size. So, how does this work? You basically snug it in right here, slips in, and there you go. All right, so that's my makeshift. And there you go, you have a sunroof. Now, if you are not in Florida, uh, this is probably not a big deal. It's actually very cool, you get to see the great outdoors but if you're in florida and that sun hits you in the day it literally bakes you inside this car so it's very important that we have something to block the sun here and this is the one that came out in 93 so how this really works is you have if you have the original it slips into the two little brackets right here goes up you turn this thing and it just locks in place all right there you go it's locked in place Looks really nice, but if you don't, then you have to work with something like this. So what did I come up with? Let me show you right now. Well, here you have it. This is what we're working with. We got an original 93 uh, sunroof shield. We got regular cardboard. And this is what you call CAD, cardboard aided design. And we have our mock, whatever you want, prototype. <laughs> there you go, prototype. So I'm gonna try to cut another piece and test it out. And this time I'm gonna cut it a little bit bigger because this, this is not actually what we're gonna use. We're gonna use this stuff, which I got from Hobby Lobby. We went to Arts, Arts and Crafts today. And it's a 36 by 48, it's a foam project board. And I believe it's gonna work well. And the fabric, it's kind of like a matte finish. It's a little bit, there's a thickness. I don't know what size thickness it is, but should work pretty well. But this is all I could find when I came up with this idea. So this is what I'm gonna work with and we're gonna see what happens. There's no guarantee this will work. So today it's trial and error and we're hoping for the best. So I'm gonna start off by putting this to the side. I did take some measurements. So from either side of this board, it's 31 inches. So there you go, 31 inches. And the measurements vary from here because it kind of, it's smaller here, it gets wider in the center. But right at these tips, that's about 14. So we're gonna work with that and see how best we can get this thing cut. Now, it won't work exactly, you can't really cut it to the same exact dimensions because I won't have these little tabs here. So essentially what I'm trying to do is cut it. So once I put it up in there, it just kind of slides between the grooves of the sunroof, the, the ceiling liner or headliner, and hopefully it stays in place just like our prototype works. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna move on to this cardboard. And basically what I did was lay it flat, lay it flat right here. And then I took a pen and I just basically traced lines all the way around to try to get the exact dimensions. Based on that, I went back, used my tape measure. So right here, that's around 14, as you can see. 
right here is around 14. And if I go across, I got 31. So I know I'm close to what that is. And now I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna test fit it. That works, I'm gonna take the cardboard, transfer it onto my foam board. We're gonna cut that out, stick it in, and it should work perfectly. All right, so I've cut out my sample piece. I'm now trying to transfer it onto the board. So I'm just gonna use some straight edges, just try to get this thing as good as I can. Obviously my cut is not symmetrical, but I'm gonna try to work with it. So here we go. Let's hope for the best. Using this gray line, this is gonna be my cut point. And I'll, all right. So basically I'm just gonna trace and try to get it done. Now for all you artistic guys, I'm sure there's a better way to do this. You know, our engineering folks, you can probably put this on some type of computer thing and cut it out or whatever, but this is freestyling on the weekend. Try to make your MR2 look better than it did the day before. I'm just gonna use this just to kind of Give me some context as to how I'm going to get this thing drawn in. And again, this doesn't need to be perfect. Once it's up there, it's going to be tucked under. It's going to be tucked under the liner, so you shouldn't see any imperfections. But try to get it as good as we can. So here it goes. cardboard is not too forgiving because see where I'm sitting on like it's putting dimples in it so probably not the best material to use but we're gonna work with it for now so I'm at the part where it's precision work I'm gonna try to focus so I don't mess this up and cut it clean and we should be able to throw it in and be good We're all done, I cut this piece out. Now, the top side where I'm cutting, where I have these lines came up pretty clean on the back end, it's a little bit, you know, jagged. So I'm using a little bit of sandpaper to try to smooth it off. It's not gonna be perfect, but I think it looks a lot better than my <laughs> cardboard over here. So there you have it. But the truth really is gonna be when we put this in and see what it looks like. So let's head into the car. Let me just smooth this edge off and try this thing out. And hopefully you guys like this. And if you're having this problem, this can be a good alternative to one, not being able to find one, or two, having to pay 300 bucks if you do find one. Because that's like what they're selling for these days, if you can find one. Now the trick to getting this in is you don't want to try to do it with the sunroof closed because you basically cut the board a little bit bigger than what um, you have here. So you just kind of slide it, open the sunroof, slide it in like that. 
And just take your time. Obviously, it's at OEM. It's not going to be as smooth. There you go. And then you just slip it in the groove right here. Get it nice and centered. And then you drop your sunroof. And there you have it. Well, that looks a lot better than the cardboard. And I think it's a pretty cool, inexpensive way of fixing this thing. So uh, overall, I'm very happy. You know, I just, just, I just had an idea. I figured, hey, this might work. And I think that looks pretty good. You know, I'm kind of happy how this turned out because earlier I was hanging out with my cousins, Casey and Jason, and they were laughing at my, um, my sunroof shield. So, hey, you're not laughing right now because look, I got a new almost OEM built by me. Yep, I like it. The only thing I wish I could find was that exact color to match the gray headliner, but that's the closest color I could find. But overall, I think it works. So we're going to throw this in the 91. So now we have a sun shade for the MR2s. Hope you guys like this. Hey, a lot of them are missing, right? Because, you know, honestly, even the guy I bought the car from, he didn't even know it came with one. So I don't know if it was a factory option to get a, get one of these shades. But, um, yeah, there are a lot of them missing. And, you know, now I have one OEM and one that was made by us here. So hope you guys like it. Keep on subscribing. Uh, it's been slow. It's been slow. The subscriptions have been slow, but you know what? We're not giving up. We're going to stick with MR2 and we're going to keep this channel going. So thank you all for watching, all these subscribers. Um, you know, thank you so much. We appreciate the love and the support and I'll see you on the next one.